Welcome to my 365 day painting challenge. This is Susan McManaman. We are on week 15 with paintings 99 through 105. I have not only a week's worth of paintings here, but it's some time-lapse footage and a short chat about composition. First off, we're starting with two paintings based on the bouquet of yellow flowers I bought at Safeway. And the second painting has a little robin's egg that I found in my yard a couple of years ago. Next is another Kelly Folsom exercise, and then after that is my interpretation of that exercise with my own props. And then the painting after that is a small composition of onions. This is an excellent time of year to be painting onions. I've long wanted to paint plain air in downtown Everett, but it's a bit of a sketchy area. And I was really lucky to find Stephen Mayone, a local plain air artist, and he allowed me to tag along with him while he was painting down there one day. Thanks so much, Stephen, for letting me join you. He's probably the most prolific plein air artist I know and does great work around the area. You really need to check out his Instagram page, stephen.paints, and see the wonderful work he's doing. The painting I'm working on here is to help me advertise a class that I'm teaching this spring in May in Lake Chelan on, you guessed it, metal and glass. I really enjoy painting metal and glass. I love the reflections and how they become this really interesting abstract pattern. And so we're gonna have a great time. If you want any information on the class, just visit my website. Next, I wanted to talk about a super exciting subject. No, I'm being, not being serious at all. A very dry and abstract and confusing subject that is composition, which I have been studying for years. But one of the books that I enjoy the most is called The Simple Secret to Better Painting by Greg Albert. I'll put a link to a place where you can purchase it into the, the description of the video. Anyway, this fabulous person has been able to take this huge, complex, dry subject and condense it down to a single idea. And that idea is to Never make any two intervals the same. And this concept works for realistic painting, it works for abstract painting, it works for sculpture, it works for photography. It's a fabulous idea and it's something you can fall back on whenever you're lost. A few quick examples of keeping your intervals uneven as pertains to placement. We had horizon line and now focal point and the distance between the top of your subject and the top of your painting, spaces between objects, and the distance between your objects and the bottom of your painting. No worries, we'll chat about this fascinating subject again next week. And thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, have a great week, and we'll see you later, bye.